As of right now, the problem with these invasive species is just growing, it's spreading, it's getting worse, and there's no clear-cut solution to this issue. Hiya! I would say around 40% of the shrimp that I find have parasites, and it's pretty easy to identify because one or both sides of their gill flaps, the sides of their body, are bulging. It just means a lot to me. I feel like, I feel like it's what I was meant to do. My name is Jacob Colvin and I started my TikTok which currently has about 9.6 million followers back in 2019 when I moved to the Oregon coast. While I'd make trips over to the beach I'd kind of stumble upon some really interesting animals and I would just take out my phone and record little clips of those animals and people really fell in love with it. After a while I started asking myself what else could I show my viewers? Thinking about that reminded me of a time back in 2005 when I was doing work with Oregon State University and Hatfield Marine Science Center. I was working with their invasive species teams and we were removing invasive shrimp parasites from a species of shrimp known as Eupogebia pugitensis. When I'm looking for a shrimp to help, I go about four miles back into the bay. It's an estuary where freshwater and saltwater meet. I look for the little shrimp holes and I use my white slurper tool, a shrimp pump, to pump the shrimp out of the mud. I would say around 40% of the shrimp that I find have parasites. So you look at a healthy shrimp and it's nice and slender along the sides. Well, if you look at a shrimp with a parasite, it's slender on one side and bulging on the other. Clear indication that it's got a parasite. So that's when I know I need to help. Once I find a shrimp that's infected with a parasite, I carefully lift its gill flap and slowly pull the parasite out, being very careful not to harm the shrimp's carapace. You're a good shrimp. Wait. I also want to note that I was trained by professionals at Oregon State University on how to find these shrimp, remove the parasites, and safely release them. I would highly recommend not trying this yourself because without proper training, it's very easy to hurt the shrimp. I believe that these videos have become so popular on TikTok and YouTube because it's showing animals in need of help being helped. I think most people would naturally go out of their way to help an animal in need. So when people see others doing it on a video, it really resonates with them. I've always had a very powerful, natural draw to the ocean. I feel like if I could live under the ocean, I would. It's been my life goal to move over to the beach, and now that I'm finally here, I just want to be as involved with the ocean and its inhabitants as possible. Good, Shrimpy. It's time to go home.